Hello everyone, it's Christina Martini on the mat to join you to begin your practice today. So today we're going to go ahead and journey on to a 15 minute practice. This will allow you to get some movement, some breathing, and some mindfulness into your day. Again, just listening to your body, being really in tune to where you need to deepen and go just slightly beyond your edge, but also to know how to embrace and surrender and let it go if you've gone too far. So again, we're gonna begin with sitting into a comfortable position and igniting the ujjayi breath. Remember that when the breathing is correct, the practice is correct. So it's really important to synchronize the inhale and the exhalation to harmonize and to be with the flow of the movement of the posture within the body. When the breathing is incorrect, it doesn't support the body properly, therefore is what causes stress, injury, aches, and pains sometimes to the body. So the breathing allows the spaces, the internal organs, the external being of the body and the internal being of the body to synchronize and unionize, um, moving together in harmony, in peace, in relaxation, in healing, in recovery, in detoxification, in cleansing, and purification. All right, so come into your comfortable position. And again, you don't have to sit into lotus just as yet, just being calm and sit properly with your back straight. Remember that we're breathing with the mouth closed and breathing through the nostril. This breath is called the Ujjayi. It's known as the victorious breath. Sometimes you'll hear it called the Darth Vader breath. <laughs> Darth Vader breath from Star Wars. <laughs> so anyway, so breathing in, inhale, close your mouth to the nostril or the back of the throat. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep your spine engaged. Inhale. Exhale. One more. You can hear it. It's a beautiful ocean breath. This is the breath that we're going to take with us throughout the journey. So if you're beginning sun salutation A and B, I'm going to show you some options. The first part, I'm going to go ahead and use modified version. You can remain in those modified version throughout the second, third, fourth, and fifth set of the sun salutation A. On the second one, sun salutation B, I'm going to show you again a modified version, and then we're going to repeat it again, and you can decide which one works for you. I'm going to show you three different options as I move through the talking and demonstration, and throughout the practice, you can discontinue with what you can do. All right, coming into the top of your mat, just standing on the very top of your mat. Engaging your heels and your toes to stand firm and grounded onto the earth. Bringing your hands to Anjali Mudra, their heart center. Oh. Opening your eyes, prepare for your hands. Inhale, hands up. Straight arms, palms together if you can. Exhale, bend your knees. If you're brand new and you can't get your palms all the way down, bend your knees so you can get your chest towards your thighs, your nose to your knees. Inhale, look up. Keep your knees bent so that your palms remain on the ground. Exhale, do your best to walk back. Drop to your fours. And then again, chaturanga. Inhale to your upward dog. This is the modified. Exhale to your downward dog. Walk your feet in, stretch your chest out, gaze into your navel, keep your eyes open. All of your fingers are spread wide as your heels draw down. If you're not able to draw down, you're gonna look like this. Work through slowly, extending and lifting your kneecaps, stretching your quadriceps, and breathe. Two, three, Four, five, 
side, look to the center, inhale, walk it in, keep your hands there, bend your knees, you can do this. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, bring up your arms, lengthen your spine, gaze up. If your arms are bent, it's okay, and slowly you reach. Exhale, release. Beautiful, second set, inhale. Continue with your modified, exhale. Straight arm this time for some of you. Inhale, look up. This time we're gonna walk with a long leg and stay on the full plank or drop your knees to the modified. Exhale, roll the toes. Inhale to your upward dog. Exhale, roll back the toes to downward dog. Walk your feet in, breathe. One. It's hard to roll the toes. Two, it's gonna take some practice. Three, just enjoy where you can be. Four, activate your kneecaps and your calves, everything. And five, look to the center, inhale, walk it in. Exhale, your nose to your knee. Inhale again, lengthen your spine, look up. Exhale, release. Third set, I hope you're doing well. Inhale, don't quit. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, again, walk or drop your knee, whichever one you'd like to take. Push the heel and roll to the top of the feet. Look up or drift to your natural, to your nose if you have neck issues. Sweep and paintbrush the mat and you can walk in your toes. One, downward dog. Two, stretch away. Keep your arms strong and engaged. Don't let it collapse to shoulders. Three, bandhas, engage. Take the hips high and back. Four, keep the fingertips all onto the mat and your toes and heels. Five, inhale, look up, walk in. Exhale your nose to your knees. Inhale, bring up your arms. Exhale, release. We only have two sets left. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. This time you're hopping back for some of you and chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, use that rolling toes back, breathing. One, two, three, four, five. We'll look to the middle, inhale, in. Hands stay on the floor, exhale. Inhale, bring up your arms. Exhale, release. One more set, inhale. Exhale, long beat your spine until you hit the floor with your hands and nose in, straight on. Inhale, look up. And again, we're gonna jump back, keep everything there. Separate your feet apart when you're on your plank to chaturanga. Inhale, drop to the top of the feet when you're rolling up to upward dog. Exhale, sweep that floor. And again, walk it in, breathe. One. Two. Continue all the four corners of the feet and the hands to be awakened. Three, don't let it get lazy. Four, keep it there. Five, look up, inhale, hop in. Straight arms, exhale, fold. Bend your knees for some of you. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. 
All right, we're in sun salutation B. This one, I'm going to show you modified again. Squeeze the knees, sit into chair pose, inhale. Keep your knees bent, exhale, fold down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, walk it back again. Drop to your knees for this modified one for some of you. Inhale to your upward dog. Exhale. When you're here, turn your left feet, bring your right foot, keep your hands on the ground, bring your palms together, reach up. It's a lot of work. Exhale. Swing back the right leg, drop to the knees, chaturanga, upward dog. Exhale. Keep your gaze to the center, turn your left. Bring your, bring your left, turn your right. Inhale, hold up. Exhale, coming back down. Here we go again. Drop to your knees, top of the feet. And again, upward dog. And downward dog. You can remain doing that for the next four steps. One. Two. Three, four, five. Look to the center, walk it in. Exhale your nose to your knees. Sit again into that chair pose. Bring your hands to the front and exhale, release. All right, so now the next four sets. Bend your knees, inhale. Exhale, fold. Straight arms for the second set. Inhale, look up. Some of you can stay at the modified version. The next one is plank, chaturanga. Roll again at the toes, inhale. Exhale again. Look to the center. Turn your right feet in. Lunge deeper. Hands up. Hold. Exhale. Chaturanga again. Inhale again, upper dog. Exhale. And again, turn the right, left steps in, hands, palms together. Follow your gaze, drishti. Look up. Exhale. Chaturanga again. Don't take your head down. Keep it level, neutral position. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Look to the center. Inhale, walk it in. Exhale your nose to your knees. Inhale, sit into chair pose, palms up. Exhale, release. Third set. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, fold down, straight arms, straight legs, or bent knees, palms down. Inhale, look up. And again, hop. And now you're at Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Bring it up to downward dog. Turn your left, right steps in. Inhale. Reach. Lunge. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Turn your right, step your left. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bow your head in towards your gaze and navel. Breathing one, two, three. Or you're meditating here. 
Keep your eyes open. Five, look to the center, hop. Exhale, nose to knee. Inhale, stretch your spine, hands up. Exhale, release. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hop or walk back. Inhale, top of the feet on upward dog. Exhale, look to the center, step the right forward, lunge the knee, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, lunge the left, and again, arms together up, exhale. Inhale, exhale, walk it in a little bit, stretch away, one, you're doing good, two, three, big breathing, hear your breath, four, Five, look to the center, inhale. Exhale, nose to your knees. Inhale, sit into that chair pose, hands up. Exhale, release. Your last one. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. Whichever way you go back, exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale. Turn the left, right steps in. Inhale. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Turn the right, step the left. Inhale. Inhale, and enjoy it here. You made it, one, two, three, four, five. Look to the front. Inhale, walk or hop. Exhale, nose to your knees. Inhale, bend your knees, hands palms up, gaze up. Exhale, release. So that's a beautiful way to begin. Coming down to the front of your mat, just sit wherever you are. We're gonna bring your feet into a lotus. If you don't have a lotus practice, that's okay. I'm gonna show you a few ways. This is now the closing part. So you can bring your right feet into the top of your left. Your left feet can stay underneath the right knee, the right thigh. This is called half lotus. And you can remain here. If this is the most that you can do, you would bring your right hand for your grabbing of your left feet or your left side or your back. And then your right, your other hand can just crisscross to the back, holding the elbow from here. And you can fold down, bow down to wherever you are. Beautiful. So that's one option. Those of you that cannot do that, you can just sit with the feet, trying to be on the bottom, on the top. And again, you would just bring your hands to your back, trying to grab your arm or your elbow, and you would just fold down and do your best to fold down here, holding the elbow or the upper part of the arm. That's how. Those of you in full posture, right goes first in lotus. The left goes on the top. 
And again, most of the time, these, the knees splay out. So you wanna engage your bundus, your stomach, abdominal muscles, your core strength. Bring your heel as close as you can to your navel and in the crease of the bend of the hips and the thighs. And again, you're either gonna hold your arms back here if you're not able to grab both of your toes just as yet and just pull down and relax into the pose. Here we are counting the breath, one, Two, three, four, five. Keep your eyes closed. Coming up, if you want to open them just to see what I'm doing, bring your hands on top of your knees, stretch your spine long. Ohm fingers is the circle of the thumb and the index, and then the three fingers pointing down. Your wrist is sitting on the top of the knees. Your chest is high and up. Breath. Two. Three. Deeper breathing, six. Seven. Eight. Nice job. Hands to your side. For those of you that's in Lotus, we're gonna pick up one breathing, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and setting it down. Those of you that didn't have the lotus, you can pick up here as one, stay, same breathing, two, and you're just holding up. Those of you that were in half lotus, you had your right on top, your left might not lift up, and you're gonna just pick up. If it can lift, so lift. If not, you just stay there. Thank you for joining me and you for your personal journey on the mat. Again, when you're pressed for time, and this is all you have, and you're in the hotel, in a business trip, on vacation, or at home and unable to get to a shala, and this is all you've got to give to yourself. It's priceless. Shavasana, namaste. Lay down and turn the body around the other direction. Open your heels apart. Bring out your hands, palms facing up, and again, rest and enjoy as long as you'd like to be here. Just gonna close you with a mantra. Om Asatoma Sadamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Damaya Nerityorma Amritam Gamaya Tomorrow for your practice.